Hey, I'm Alexandra, home editor at Chatelaine. Welcome back to another episode of The Home Primp where I make over spaces on a serious budget. I am really excited about this primp because it is going to be a major challenge. I'm going to primp Carla's teeny, teeny tiny studio apartment using only IKEA furniture for under $500. Seriously, any excuse for a trip to IKEA. So we are here at IKEA in Toronto. Come follow along, let's go shopping and see what we can find for Carla's studio apartment. Chatelaine, if you need me, I'll just be, just be watching some TV. Yes. Use these in the nursery primp, they look like clouds. They're so pretty. I have seen this mirror hacked into a light. And Carla actually needs a wall light beside her dining table. So I am gonna grab one of these downstairs and I'm gonna try and hack it. We'll see if it works, stay tuned. Literally matches me. I'm where I belong. Let's go. I don't think Carla has space for a side table, um, but stools like this are a great uh, place to put like books and water and stuff beside your bed. But it'll also act as um, extra seating when guests come over. I think this is a winner. I only need two. So I may as well just make them look really nice with paint. Whenever I'm at Ikea, I stock up on a million of these sheepskins because you can use them for anything. Throw them on the back of chairs, use them as rugs. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, I found it. This is the spice rack. I think if I can find some sort of hooks, I could attach them here. So then Carla could put her like wallet and her keys up here and then hang her jackets. Into the shopping bag, they go. <gasps> Entering the land of dreams, literally. All the beds. So I'm looking for something that's low to the ground. Um, I want it to feel like a couch, but also a bed. I feel like this is very Carla. It's like minimal, you have a nice headboard, but it's not like overbearing. It's low to the ground. Yep. Whew. Oh my God. Guys, there's cat curtains. I may have to change my whole design plan. Too much? Too much? These are just like your standard white curtains. And I'm thinking that I could hack them a little bit, put some sort of like tassel down the side. I was gonna say pom-poms, but... I won't go that far. Okay, we're almost done. Oh God, we're almost done. I love these little globe lights. This would look really cool in her little alcove. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of these for sure. This pendant light is my favorite. I really think that its size is gonna work in Carla's place because it's so small, it needs some sort of like focal point, it needs a statement light. Now I use this in the mudroom turned office primp, but again, I just like have my statement Ikea go-tos. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna carry all this, but I'm gonna try. Okay, this is like my workout for the year. Ooh, let's go buy an ice cream. Anyone? We are back at Carla's. I need to start with setting up the bed. The goal in a studio apartment is to make your bed seamlessly blend in with the rest of the space to make it feel like one big living room. With that in mind, Carla's new bed is going to double as a couch when she has guests over. For the purposes of this primp, I'm going to leave the bed out of the final price and show you how to make the one you already own work in a small space like a studio apartment. Prop your regular sleeping pillows against the edge of the bed and then layer in plenty of cushions to pad out your seating area. Carla already had this shelf from Ikea, which was great because we didn't have to buy a new one. It fits so perfectly in the space between her bed and the entryway, which means that her sleeping area is easily concealed. Okay, this is my favorite part, styling. She's got these really cool crates, which act as awesome storage for things like hats and scarves. When you've got a small space, belongings can double as decor. Things like cameras, lots of plants, books, records, anything that really shows off your personality while also filling the space. I'm styling the shelf so it looks good from both sides, which is key when everything's on show. See how with one shelf I've created such a divide in an open room? Now for the light. Its texture really warms up the space and it also makes this room feel more like a living room rather than one big bedroom. 
Carlos just got this little wall to work with in this entryway, so I really need to maximize the space. Using that spice rack I picked up at Ikea, I'm gonna DIY an entryway organizer. First things first, throw on some paint. I went for Annie Sloan's Old White, it's a classic favorite of mine. Then you wanna drill some holes and add in some knobs. I had these left over from previous crimps, but honestly you can find these at any home decor store, and there's so many options. It's that easy. Because I had most of the supplies already, this just cost me $9 to make. Can you believe it? It's such a bargain. And here it is on the wall. This cute little bench is a place for Carla to put on her shoes or drop her bag when she walks through the door. I love this vintage mirror she had in her bedroom. It looks so good against the brick and a cute piece of art never hurts. These white curtains make such a huge difference. They really brighten Carla's space. And to make them even more fun, I just added some inexpensive craft tassels. Carla's old table fits so perfectly in this corner because it's round. And round tables tend to feel a lot more seamless in open spaces like this. Next up, chairs. I'm back using Annie Sloan's chalk paint because honestly, it's so great for these kinds of projects. This time, I'm using a lot more color so they really pop. Obviously, I can't hang another pendant, but this area really needs something to brighten it up. So I'm gonna use this Ikea mirror and attempt to make it into a wall light. What you need is this accordion part of the mirror. Spray paint it gold or any color you'd like. Then you wanna add a quarter inch hex nut and screw it to the top of the accordion arm. This literally cost me 10 cents at the hardware store. This sconce was $13 on Amazon. You wanna keep these bits of hardware and spray paint the sconce gold. A primer is key to stop the paint from running. I found that the easiest way to get a drip-free finish was to spray the sconce from far away. Finally, you wanna let it dry and assemble your new light fixture. I was gonna wallpaper this little alcove, but that's expensive and takes time. So I found this amazing heart wall decal that adds just as much impact. At first it was a little tricky, but with an extra set of hands, it was a breeze to put up. Carlos record player and speakers are going here, and I've added a few lights and a cozy sheepskin to make it feel extra homey. And now for some finishing touches to pull everything together. This IKEA stool acts as a side table and doubles as extra seating. Finally, a downloadable piece of art from Etsy that cost me basically nothing. I am so excited with how this space turned out. Now, Carla finally gets her own grown-up bed, and with a few cushions, it also doubles as a couch. And can we talk about this shelf that totally separates the space I mean, Carla has a little entryway. And this heart decal, wow. What an impact it makes right when you walk through the door. And there you have it. The coziest studio apartment possibly ever, all under $500. Thanks so much for watching The Home Primp. If you liked any of the products, they'll all be linked in the description box below. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and comment if you have any questions. See you next time. Woo! I almost lost all my boxes. And everyone left.